My name's Alicia Economides. I'm the organiser for Super Amart. Um, the guys here just joined the union about six to eight months ago and um, what happened was we started our EBA negotiations so the guys could get a better pay rise. They haven't had one in the last three and a half years and they're all paid 20 bucks an hour to do, frankly, what is basically the work of someone who should be paid like $25 an hour as industry, st industry standards go. I'm Chad. I'm a delegate here at Super Uh Well, we're trying to negotiate our first EBA and the company's adamant that it's only an award-based company and it shows no intention to, to work with us guys and come to a, a fair solution. It means that uh, the company only want to give its workers the bare minimum uh, that the award uh, dictates, so it, it leaves us with um, a very low wages and uh, low conditions. I'm a, I'm a labourer. So I picked the orders for the Supreme Art retail stores. So this is the freight. Um, a lot of the freight we handle, for example, Azuma Buffet is 107 kilos, and we would pick that on our own. Um, so we work pretty hard, and we don't think it's unreasonable to ask for a fair wage. They're owned by a private equity company called Quadrant Private Equity. Yeah, that, they earn a lot of money, and um, to my understanding, Super Amart's in one of their highest profit tiers. The managing director, Chris Hadley, there, I think earns about $7.8 million a year. Well, today we're going on a freedom ride, going to um, take the bus for low wages. And Super Amart has now told us that they are an award-based company. So I think in light of that, it's important that we make sure that everyone is being paid properly under the award, which means that, unfortunately, some of the big managers are going to have to take a few sacrifices 